home, Le Shelter the Huggard has finally found their new Christmas chef. The charity's regular cook left this year and the search started for someone to provide the homeless with a Christmas dinner. Our regular chef, who's worked the last four or five Christmas days, contacted us this year and said, can I have Christmas Day off? Um, and we thought, well, actually, fair enough. Why would we not allow somebody to have Christmas Day off? Um, um, and normally we get inundated with volunteers who want to come in and help in the centre on Christmas Day, which is fantastic. But we can't take the number of volunteers that want to help us on Christmas Day. Um, but we actually thought, well, if we get that number of generic volunteers that want to come in and help, perhaps if we put a call out for a very special volunteer to come in and take charge of the kitchen, we might get somebody with that right level of experience to come in and, and cook Christmas di um, dinner for our clients, which could be up to 120 Christmas dinners on Christmas Day. Um, so we put an advert out, um, a call out for a chef, and we had been inundated again um, with people offering to come in and cook Christmas dinner. Um, we've had um, offers from chefs, we've had offers from restaurants and businesses in Cardiff to come in and some of those have been kind enough to say that they'd do it on a different day if they can't do Christmas Day. Um, but the offer I think we're going to take up for Christmas Day um, is an offer from a guy called Thomas who's a cook on HMS Bulwark um, and he's just come on leave um, from a tour um, on the other side of the world um, and he's used to cooking for 900 sailors. Um, and a lot of our client group, um, a lot of the homeless people that we're working with, um, have experience of being in the armed forces. So it was a good opportunity for us to um, make those links again and have somebody who's obviously used to cooking for a large number of people. And I'm sure the food he cooks is absolutely fantastic. Um, so he hopefully is going to come in on Christmas Day and um, serve Christmas dinner for our client group. So how many people is it usually that you get coming to you, not just on Christmas Day, just, just generally? How many people does the Huggard help? Um, we, last year we saw 32,000 visits um, from just over 1,700 different people. Um, so that's averaging about 80 people a day that come in and access our, our day centre. Um, and a lot of those people are going to be rough sleepers. A lot of those people um, are going to be in very temporary accommodation and have just gone off the streets themselves. So we're providing a lot of help. So that's about 80 people a day that are coming in. Um, and on Christmas Day we expect to see a lot more than that because people want to come together and, and spend time with other people. And if they don't have contact with their family or they haven't got family, then to be able to come into the Huggard Centre and have a really good Christmas dinner is really important to them. How do you feel with the fact that you've got so many people ask, like offering to help? It's fantastic. Um, sometimes um, you can feel a bit isolated working with homeless people because it is such an excluded group and it is a group that faces a lot of victimisation um, and lots of people walk past homeless people on the street and don't give them the time of day. So when we put a call out and we're inundated with offers of help, it makes you realise that people do care um, and that people do want to do something to help. And as we're an organisation doing something to help, to help us is the best way to help. The chef will be serving a hot Christmas roast to the homeless throughout Cardiff. This is Laura Allen from Dumbles Road for Hello Cardiff.